Okay, I was out here, I was doing a bit of um, knife sharpening for a mate of mine who shoots deer, uh, getting ready for the old season. Uh, had the veal belt sander out there. So I said, while well, I had the gear set up, I'd like to talk about uh, bowie knives. Uh, I've always liked bowies. I've had, this is one I've had years and years and years. You can see it's not the biggest knife in the world. And I really abused this when I was a kid. It's bringing out fishing, you can see the pitting on it. I used it to practice sharpening on my Japanese water stones. I cold blued it at one stage to see what effect that would have. You know, it's a decent carbon steel knife, but that was cheap and cheerful and did me for years. So then I got a grow on me and I decided I wanted a, a bowie knife, a proper bowie knife, like you'd see on the telly. And first of all, I went for the classic K-Bar, US Marine K-Bar. Great knife, real solidly built. Much more the size you'd associate with, or I would, with a bowie knife. Classic clip blade, guard. Decent knife, but still wasn't, you know, the, that western bowie that I was after. Didn't quite have the presence. So, I upgraded. Well, I don't know, it's an upgrade. But I got the big brother. <laughs> this is the K-Bar big brother. Again, it's still got the same size tang going into the handle. This is more a thermo run, kind of a rubbery handle. Same kind of construction, guard, clip blade. This one's serrated on the back edge. You might not like that if you like to batten through rounds of timber for camping. But still more like what I was looking for. This is a 10 inch blade. But still not a very westerny bowie. Not a classic bowie. And I had some concerns about the, the tang. So like for a knife that size you'd be inclined to chop with it. But with a tang that size I was afraid it would probably break at the, the junction of handle and guard. So. I went for a beauty. This is the beauty Bushwhacker Mistress with a mashed cat Kydex sheet. Okay, this is this is another like 10 inch blade, full tang, big beast of a knife, my cart to handle slabs. And it, it's big, it's beefy. You see how thick that is. And uh, it's a feral chopper, but a bit ungainly, very, very blade heavy. Looks like a giant butcher knife more than anything else. Good knife, takes a good beating. I, I'm not sure how you could break it. If you do break it, they have a lifetime guarantee. You can send it in and they'll fix it or replace it or whatever. Nice knife. But I still had that, this held it off for a good while, but I still had that longing on me for a classic Bowie knife. So eventually I got on to James Woods. He's a custom maker in the UK. And I, I'd like, I'd seen some of his work and like the guy's only, I think he's 17 now. And I'd liked a lot of his work that I'd seen on British Blades for him. So I asked him to make me what I thought of as a bowie. So I got it, I gathered a bunch of pictures. I really like the Bagwell type um, bowie knives. So I like that real long clip that you see on the back there. This one is silver steel. I asked him to leave the kind of forge finish, scaly finish on the sides. I like the contrast with the, the shiny steel. So what I did, I got a bunch of pictures together of knives that I like. And I sent them to James and I said, look, in your own style, but taking kind of cues from these knives. So he's got a curly coa handle, single pin, a wrought iron spacer there and a wrought iron guard. He made all this himself. I believe he sent it to Grace for um, surface grinding to flatten it. He forged the blade himself. I mean, for, for a guy his age to be producing work like this, this is unbelievable. So delighted with that. It feels a lot lighter than it should especially when you consider how thick the blade edge is or the blade steel is hang on I'll just check okay compared to the beauty and you can see there isn't a whole pile in it but this one is much better balanced much lighter well it feels lighter because more of the weight is towards the handle rather than the blade but you still have that reach this is like a 10 10 and a half inch blade Full flat grind, which I, I asked James to do for me. Um, very, very sharp. This, it, it's kind of scary having a knife this long that it is this sharp. But to complement that, I asked Lawrence Duggan, Rapid Boy on British Blades forums and irishshooter.com to make me a sheet. And again, I wanted a real classic old style Western sheet. So I specified Lawrence. He does this lovely striping that I've seen on a lot of his sheets. So I asked him if he could do that for this one. I asked him if he could make it in two parts. So 
the traditional way of wearing a, a large bowie knife is to shove it into like a cummerbund or a belt. So this stud and this block of, tim block of uh, leather at the top prevents it sliding down your belt and it ended up on the floor. And he made this frog with the lacing. that I'd seen it on, I think it was a blade by Owen Bush that he'd done the sheet for. I really liked the effect of that, so I asked him to do that for me. The two fit together. And it's quite a tight fit. Very secure, so you can wear it on your belt. And this thing is just a piece of work. It, this is gorgeous. The stitching, the welt. I mean, he's tinned from, I think it's six layers of leather down, tapering down to two or three, so that the knife doesn't have room to be slopping around inside there. But it still has room at the top. I asked him to make the keeper with a Sam Brown popper so you don't have that pop noise that you do with the pull the dot type tabs. This is more traditional looking and I just like the look of it, I like the feel of it, the smell of it. If you're looking for leather work, I recommend Rapid Bite. This is brilliant stuff. And th this thing is just the whole package. To me, this is what a Bowie knife should look like. Okay. And there she is in her home and I gotta say thanks to James and Lawrence for the work they did the quality and there was no bother at all if I wanted to text him or mail him change a few bits or if I wanted to talk about what kind of timber he was going to use for the handle there was no hassle at all and I'm really really impressed great value and uh, quite happy now thanks for watching